Hi everyone, Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameNostalgia.com, a little movie review special, and we're looking at a little fun one today. Uh, elves and magic and various things uh, from Disney Pixar film called Onward. Please, if you're new to the channel, push the old subscribe button, that'd be fantastic. Any thumbs ups are always great, and please push that bell notification when you know when these little movie review specials etc coming out obviously i do things on board games and posters and stuff like that so please check all the links in the uh, in the comments below right onward then what have we got here we've got an hour and 42 minutes quite quite long for animation you know if you watch any of my vlogs you know i, I do worry when these things go on uh, more than an hour and 20 an hour and 30 minutes so yeah we've got an hour and 42 minutes yeah I'll add some credits in there as well but uh it's quite long again, as though they have to justify what what they're doing with these um, these animated films. Anyway, more of that in a moment. Animation adventure comedy is directed by Dan Scanlon and stars the voices of Tom Holland, Chris Pratt, Julia Lewis Dreyfus, and this is actually Julia Lewis Dreyfus' first Pixar film in twenty years since she did Bugs Life in nineteen ninety eight. That was a great film, Bugs Life. I'm sure you've watched that. Um, this is the fifth Pixar film not to feature any humans after, yep, A Bug's Life and the Cars trilogy. Tom Holland's third time voice acting, so that's he's making a bit of a habit of this, uh, after Spies in Disguise, and he was also also a voice in Doolittle, the Reese, which um, checked the reviews on that recently, and Spies in Disguise, I've reviewed that quite recently. What's it about? Well, it's a, set in a suburban fantasy world. Two, two teenage elf brothers, Ian and Barley Lightfoot, go on a journey to discover there's still a little magic left out there in order to spend one last day with their father, who died when they were too young to remember him. What a shit. Oh, it's very sad. It's a very sad story. Um, budget. Well, any, well, it's who you believe. The budget was anywhere between 100 to $200 million. I mean, absolutely incredible figures for, for an animation. Um, and it's actually... As at now, I think it's just about got the $200 million back. So it's done okay, but obviously it's still available and there's still money to be paid, but uh, money to be gained. But obviously that's a lot of money for an animation. Uh, the critics wise, I mean, uh, there's no rotten tomatoes on this. I've got a meta score rating, the Metacritic rating of 6.1 out of 10, which is okay. And that scores anywhere between 5 out of 10 and 10 out of 10. Empire, Empire Magazine loved it. They give it 10 out of 10. Pixar and went on to say, Pixar returns with a great big power chord of a movie. Heart pumping, resonant and positively harmonious. On the dampener of that, don't movie nations, Roger Moore only gave it 5 out of 10 and went on to say, the animation's good, lovely, but not dazzling. Internet movie database, well, they're rating, that's Joe Public, that's you and me, 7.7 .7 out of 10. Uh, my little view of it for my little review for moveitgamenostalgia.com. Well, I'll just quote from what I've written down here for you. Why, though, I've hinted at this already, haven't I? Why, oh, why do they have to make these animations so long? Not 20 minutes off, and it's so, so much better. The story just simply does not have the depth of story or enough lovable funny characters to fill 100 minutes it's not bad and there's plenty of positivity out there for it but overall it lacks real charm and excitement and excitement is rare which i expect for a film about magic in a fantasy land one internet movie database reviewer compared it to an animated lord of the rings i think i'll have a pint of what are there whatever they're having yes watchable but far too long and what about that budget? Wow, un incredible. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to... This is out to buy, actually, on the 6th of June. So that's planned release on the 6th of June. These dates could all change with the various situations in the world at the moment. But at the moment, it's planned for home release on the 6th of June 20. My little rating? Yeah, I am going to give it a watch for rating. As I say, it was... It was okay. It was okay as an animation. But as I say, for, for something fantasy-wise and... I did, it didn't make me chuckle much. It didn't make me laugh much. It didn't. There's a couple of okay action scenes. It was all a bit anticlimactic. But uh, hey, it's not aimed at me, is it? I mean, obviously. But I'm, I try and put my young person's head on, which you know, it gets harder by the year, obviously. But uh, yeah, I don't think Onward's one of the greatest out there. But it's a nice little watch. I'll give it a watchable rating of six out of ten. So anyway, you let me know what you think if you've managed to see this or you're planning on buying the DVD, Blu-ray when it comes out, 4K when it comes out. 
please let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for joining for this little little special on the film Onward, which is uh, is out still at some cinema. But I'd say the situation in the world at the moment when I'm when I'm recording this, obviously. Um, the next time you probably see this will be on a stream or obviously if you're able to buy it from your local store or online, which is uh, obviously, again, something more people are doing at the moment under the under the circumstances we're in. Anyway, thanks for watching this. Please follow me on Twitter for all the latest movie news on at Nostalgia underscore movie. And I'm on Facebook at Bernard with links to moviegamenostalgia.com and the website for old and rare DVDs, posters from the 90s and 2000s, and board games so re more retro board games more more older board games as well so please if you can have a look on moviegamenostalgia.com that'd be, that'd be most much appreciated by dear old me anyway thanks for watching please keep your eye out for everyone look after everyone but especially look after you, yourself your family and your friends but keep that special eye on any vulnerable people you that may be near you this this uh this strange time in the world anyway thanks for joining me today and hopefully you'll join for something else very very soon Thanks for watching. It's Bernard saying goodbye for now.